Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I seem to have left the TV volume up. Let me turn it down, for goodness sakes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, on my last video, I kind of jumped around to a bunch of different ideas. Including um, the best Bob um, uh, versus Bobs and Weaves. That picking out one particular Bob that I thought might be the most efficient... And so I basically, in this video, just try to keep doing that so we can kind of just see how the boxer reacts to me putting my face right up to his face, right? And then the minute I see any motion whatsoever, I simply duck down and backward, right? Now, I don't want to come in after he's already punched and reset. I want to come in following a punch back. So he needs a moment to reset, so to speak, right? So this whole thing is just going to be about testing that, right? We talked in the previous video about weaves. Weaves the head goes side to side. Now when you look at, and just watch, you know, me doing this while I'm talking because maybe you'll see different things and, and if this really does work out well the way I expect it to. Now weaves, and that's the head going side to side. And I was saying before that, in this one, by the way, I'm not punching very much. I just want to practice the weave thing. Um, but we were saying before that the weaves, the head goes side to side, and you just have a better chance of crashing into a fist and getting knocked out or hurt. Um, I think when you watch Mike Tyson, a lot of his weaves, um, I mean, he's, he's just really good at what he's doing, but like a lot of his weaves are somewhat out of the range of the punch, and then he'll jump in when he's going side to side, climbing up toward a person, and he'll jump in. You know, he might use them close up too. But I'm saying for, uh, for amateurs like myself, not like you, because you're the best, but amateurs like myself, like I always like to see if I could apply. Um, see, I'm not really trying to fight here. You got to understand, I'm not even trying to punch in this thing. I'm really just working on the weaves. And the punches I do are super lackadaisical weaves. But if I see his eyes blur, then I just keep punching and what have you to see if I knock him out. But um, I always like to see if I could apply this game, which I just love it for the cardio and for the reflex training. But um, I always like to see if I could apply this video game to real life. Like how, like see if there's something that works really consistently that's super simple, right? If I could just learn one bob that like works the best in a fight, why not use that s to keep life simple in a, in a real fight, right? Why not just use that bob uh, you could say, well, your opponent's going to see what you're doing and learn. No, they're not. Fights don't last that long, you know. And uh, we're training ourselves in this game, like, to bob out and then, and then have a punch out right after it. The fights just don't last that long. So, so to me, why not have a bob, like, that is just our signature way of uh, dealing with a fight, like dealing with these idiots that just throw these fists around. And, uh, of course... In my other videos, you'll see how I'm coming back with a punch. But right now, I'm not doing it because my arms are, my elbows actually got a little hurt. And, um, and I don't have my weights on my wrist. And um, so when I do punch, just for the heck of it, I'm really just doing a super lazy kind of almost like that. Just not even throwing any energy into it because I don't want to hurt my elbows anymore. Um, but this video is just all about that, just to see... Is this really the most effective way? Now, right there, I didn't do it because every once in a while, I just change it up a little bit because I get a little bored. And uh, sometimes because I get hit and what have you, and I just need to... And my legs hurt. You do the same exact thing over and over, and your legs might hurt a bit. Now, one of the things about the way I'm punching here, when you punch, go ahead and take your time waiting for the next punch and try to punch as his jaw is turning away from your fist. You want to punch as his jaw is turning away from your fist, and that's how you get a better knockout. That works so much better than punching as his jaw comes toward your fist. So that's something interesting too. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting my face uh, right up to his face, you know, right up to his gloves kind of. And then I just try to move. Now when I miss that, you see just now I missed it, then I got to keep playing to get back to that opportunity, right? And so then I'll just be ducking right away. But get the face right up to the fist is the, is the idea right there. And then uh, the minute any movement of the body happens, down and back. That's the technique, right? Because you want to create the target, right? We're controlling his actions, 
Here I'm just playing around a little more. But you want to create the target. And what's the beauty of that is, once again, the minute his body moves, you're just down and back, right? And so my question to you is, you know, doesn't that kind of brain fart, just forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Uh, you know, doesn't that kind of just make it so much easier instead of wondering which way is he going to punch? I got to go this way or that way. No, no matter what he does, down and back, right? Down and back immediately. Let's see how this works out a little bit as we're going. I hope you've been watching as I've been talking because my blabber mouth will make you miss a lot of stuff. But there I am just continually doing it. And you just see how it really is interesting because obviously he's going to punch toward the target, which is the face as high up as possible practically. And then as soon as the body moves, just down and back, and that avoids the, the punch to the head, and it avoids the follow-up punch to the jaw down low, you know? So that's kind of cool. <laughs> it's funny how he gets kind of tired because he punches so much. Now, for some of the people out there that argue that my settings are at a weak setting, I show you my settings in the previous video, I believe. But you need to understand, and you'll see this as we go on here, he actually speeds up and gets faster the more, the better I uh, take him on. So all this arguments about settings, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, just uh, relax on that. And why am I fighting just this guy? Why am I just do playing with him? Because I'm really just working on uh, the reflexes right now without punching. If you're not going to punch... This is the one to work with. This guy who's at the beginning uh, levels. If you're going to work with the guys that are much faster in the forward levels, well, then you want to involve the punches, right? So this is a technique just to practice dodging, just to get your body used to seeing the signals. You're really training your subconscious mind to, to eventually, after doing it over and over again, to eventually just see the whole body that it's about to punch. And that's what we do. We train our mind about that, right? My legs get tired after a while. Sometimes I'll switch, uh, switch sides and do it from the other side. Um, and then when you see me doing other interesting little things, then that's often when I just go off on a different type of thing, that's often me just, uh, my legs are hurting from doing the exact same thing over and over again. So this guy's milky, and, uh, you know, I like to use him for this particular challenge. Although in my uh, 20 tips and tricks, I think I show you this against the toughest guy on here. Uh, that's back when I was doing it more often. I show you just me dodging uh, that guy at the very end. I forget what his name is. He's really fast. Um, but, you know, I'm just, this is just my fourth or fifth game playing again after being gone for over three months, probably not playing. Because I, uh, I don't know, I had arm injuries and stuff from, from a few different things. From this game, actually, as well as... Well, maybe just from this game. So there we go, there we go. We, so look at that. So we, the duck and back... Actually, I prefer ducking and going back at the same exact moment. That's the best thing to do. Because that way, even if the punch connects, it's connecting uh, with a backward moving face, which is going to be less, less uh, trauma. Here, I'm getting tired, I think. <laughs> now, there I messed up, right? So now I have to test how to get back to following the fist back in, right? Right there. I think I got it. Now I'm back in, in the in the where I can get close to him. And then when I feel like I haven't done it right, then I have to keep moving around to get to where I can get back close to his face again. Keeping the face high, so that's what he aims for. In the previous video, I talked about keeping the side of the jaw facing his face, the side of the cheek kind of facing, his, uh, facing him, just to give him a really great target to punch toward, right? How can you resist? You see that jaw and you just want to knock him the hell out. And, um, you know, once again, you could use that in this setting and it just becomes a perfect way to control what he does. And then you do the down back and, and uh, learn to add the punches with it like is on my uh, 
20 tips and tricks video. Ladies and gentlemen, going to the scorecards, the judges But I'm definitely being uh, very lazy in these particular fights because once again, I my elbow injury acted up a little bit. And that's why I really am not wanting to get into a big uh, boxing punch fest. Just more of this this type of training, so to speak. Because it's actually really hard to, to punch softly. It's actually really hard to do that. Because our testosterone gets up in this game. We feel like we're in a fight or flight scenario. And sometimes we just can't resist uh, punching his big fat face with all of our might. You know? It's the animal within. I'm going to kill this guy. Arr! I'm getting a little lazy here. Now, there I took my time on each of the punches to make sure when I punched, once again, when I punched his chin, that his chin would be traveling the opposite the same direction my fist is traveling right so as the chin is moving away from your fist that's when you want to punch like it like it comment subscribe now